Oh, hello there guys, it's me, Mark. At naglalaro tayo ng Life is Strange Before the Storm. At ngayon, uh, nandito na tayo sa garage area ng ating bahay. And we're looking for a wrench nga ba na pinapahanap ng boyfriend ng mother. I'm supposed to get David his stupid wrench. Oh, wrench nga. What the hell has happened to my life? Okay, so obviously, the end your wrench. I should fill this with uh, gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Uh -huh. Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. So, so tingin ko na yung wrench. Or that. Natin yung iba. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? <laughs> Uh-oh. In there. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Anto. Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Nope. Ah, okay. Friend. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. <laughs> Maybe 90-10. Yeah, and? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Box of dicks. <laughs> Got it. Badass. Ah, dapat nag screenshot ako dito. Oi, mo may nakita ko. This. Kano na ba? So, take a pic. Take an art. Tadi dito ka, David. Ang ingay na aso sa labas. If I don't bring David his wrench soon, a little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Do I do next? See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Let's be nice. Fine, whatever. Hindi ko matik na napik na ipag fist bomb ako sa boyfriend ng mom ni. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. I already got one, but thanks. Open it. Ah, uh, the saving. Ready to roll? Please yeah. don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other. 
but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Set this down. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Yeah. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot, uniform. <laughs> You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables I got than it. dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Oh, shit. Oh, I got that's that That's what too. I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... <laughs> you're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. Got All it. you have is Best one. What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. I don't remember enlisting. So don't treat me like your newest recruit. Got it. <laughs> well played. If you were a man, I It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. <laughs> Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. <laughs> nice one. Nice move. Country music? <laughs> Yeah. Dad loved this song. So, I just call and tell him that I miss you. What a beautiful day. I guess mom left her purse back here. <laughs> I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. It's just dad. Dad, turn it up. Shit, that you accident, you know? That's how much it's accident, you know? Malala kung kasama si Chloe sa accident, you know? Kung yung dahilan kung bakit namatay yung dad niya. Can't really remember. the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Let's be nice. Huh. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young man. <laughs> I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everyone. Hello, Black Hell.
di kena kuat Oops Hey, Chloe Oh, hey, Elliot Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Ah, I took the arrow. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Press it on. Get DVD from Steph. No blessing. <laughs> Come on. What? DVD. Pangit ng kamay ni Kyo. <laughs> Pangit ng kamay ko. Ah. Eto, eto na. <laughs> Print screen. <laughs> Ganyan ka pangit ang pangit ka kamay ni Chloe. Eh, well, at least not for now. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. Maybe. What is the object? Theft. Picnic table soup. Let me see if it. The future found. needs excellence. The future is an asshole. Oh, see Victoria. Oh, Carrie Price. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook! I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. 
Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. <laughs> They're messed up. No. Oh. Ah, hell. I'm talking now. Well, for a day. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. In here. Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. Picnic tables. Where's the... Mikey. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? It to you. Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take like 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? Huh? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Bye bye, little. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> it's so funny. Are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so like really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averna. Hmm. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Elamastia. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Hmm. <laughs> I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go?
prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's uh, a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Ah, uh, okay. Shit face. Hey, shit face! <laughs> Get, Get out of there. there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little <laughs> lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication. On the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Dragons. Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. Oh, that, that's that, why that. they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. That was a mistake. The dragon can growl, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach oh, and then shit. his own butt, laughing at you. Then conversation. he shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it, and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final moments before he dies, I hold the key up to his face, and then I laugh. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. <laughs> What's next? So, Warlords, tent. It's tent time. Wait! Have you ever gotten a training camp? There's potential loot there. <laughs> okay. I live for loot. Let me pick again. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. I do a pommel strike. I strike his pommel hard. <laughs> um... What did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I do that. <laughs> Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. This sucks! It's alright. Try using your- You've delayed too long. The orc swings his warhammer at your head, barely missing your move. 
Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Oh. Dang. Dang. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon? No, it's Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? So, I think. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds mm -hmm. here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? <laughs> oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. I am so sorry. Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. <laughs> Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? <laughs> I jump in front of Elmon. Oh, one minute. Wow. Uh... Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, sorry Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're yeah. even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you <laughs> higher into Stop the air. Seconds. It hurts Stop. like hell. What do you do? Think for his head. I take one last swing at Durg. Dur Dur face his head. <laughs> you have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgaron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. Oh. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey man, if you can, do it. I cast... Wardens, oh guys, but the first nine seconds left, so we didn't know when that the first time is a spectral door which shields you from Durgaron. Life flames out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight. 